Hey everybody, it's Book of Catherine. I hope this video finds you well. I haven't had any episodes today. I'm down on the ground resting from actually activity last night. Um, so I'll have to do a separate video on a health update. So, but don't worry about me because I'm down today. It's for a good reason. So anyway, so let's move on to today's topic. So news, everyone's looking for real news. If you want real news, and I, I've been through the gamut now. I've been through the gamut for a while and... Um, so for real news, uh, you could try and go to conservative channels, but you're going to learn real fast that they have a narrative. Their narrative is either reporting news that just responds to the left, to the mainstream media that you guys have had enough of. So you get mainstream media clips all the time and they just respond to that. So they don't go on any topics outside of the topics that the left has picked. Um, or you end up hearing... Um, establishment GOP narratives. And the fact of the matter is that establishment GOP, they pass the same exact bills, the same exact progressive bills. I mean, they they pass the exact same things that that the progressives do. I mean, in in these laws, like they they support it because it's all it's all coming from the same place. The funding's coming from the same place. Um, so if you want to know, but there's there's an outsider in office right now. And so things are really, really changing and you're not going to hear news on any of that. And the reason that I know that so much is changing, things that are incredibly newsworthy that in affect your lives, affect the healthcare system, affect the uh, transportation system, affect infrastructure, affect all areas of your life. All of that news is happening basically in briefings now. And the briefings are not not Sarah Sanders briefings at all. I mean, I guess there's stuff in that, but I haven't watched this in a really long time because um, they're just fights. You know what I mean? But where you really find it is in briefings and press press uh, junkets where the, so you don't get the press where you just see what's happening in your law system and you don't get any filters. You don't see an establishment GOP filter. You don't see a conservative filter. You don't see a, uh, a left-wing media filter. You just get to make your own decisions. And I think that's what people are really thirsting for. They just want news. They want facts. And then they decide what they think of them. And what I do, I've said this on Twitter, but I watch things like Golden State Times. Um, like I, that's how I found like about the clean oceans act or whatever. And I found out in, information on pollution more so that more, uh, pollution details than even China uncensored that amazing YouTube channel, which I highly recommend everybody watch. Um, but China uncensored, uh, it, but also like if you watch Homeland security briefings, um, if you watch, uh, the healthcare briefings, the, uh, the health department briefings, if you watch any of the briefings, uh, even the Secretary of State briefings, but like the people down below, not even the heads, but the people below them, all these even cabinet member briefings. And what they'll do is they'll tell you what the government is doing. So if you hate Donald Trump and you hate his organization, the fact of the matter is that you're only hearing about the Mueller report, which is this little investigation happening over here. But you're not hearing about what Trump is doing in in through the cabinet members and the people he's elected. You're not hearing about what any of them are doing in all of our branches, our government, in in what's happening with the EPA. None of that. Like, you're not hearing about any of that. If you want to hear about that kind of stuff, go to the briefings. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot of facts and statistics and, and crime rate statistics and things like that. The fact of the matter is things are rapidly changing in our country. Uh, incredible thing. Every, every time I hear a stat, I remember I was watching one briefing and I couldn't get through the briefing because I was tweeting out like every stat that was told. I was just like this stat. And it explains a lot of what you're seeing but you're feeling stuff happening and you can either like it or not like it. I was tweeting out because I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. These are really important things to know. Some of them are you're going to find out the reason why the Democrats are blocking all of these people from being, you know, actually confirmed because this is what was going to happen. This is what's going to come down the line. So I really, you know, even DOJ briefings are really important to watch. Not the Mueller reports that are there, but the other DOJ briefings. You know, that's where I first heard about the collegiate scandal, well, the, the scandal of these people. I watched the DOJ briefing and got to hear it from them about what was happening. And so then you make your own decisions. And so uh, I learned you hear about, oh, Trump's doing all these horrible things and vice president hurting things. You know, you can watch like Golden State Times and actually find out what what he's signing on a daily basis. He's signing multiple things on a daily basis. 
multiple things. I don't watch these briefings where he gets down and sits down and has these back and forth with the press. I'm like, okay, what is happening? What is affecting my life on a daily basis and Americans' lives and the world stage? And so that's what I want to say. I know people want me to talk about Trump. They want me to talk about the news. They want me to talk about what's going on on the ground. They want me to give commentary. And I'm just like, go decide for yourself. Like, that's what this is all about is that you know, you are cognitive, you're a human, you have an amazing brain, you have an amazing ability to decide for yourself. You're, you you don't need me to filter things through for me. You, you really, what I think people really want is they just, I know you want my opinion too, but really you want news as well. Like part of the reason you love my Twitter feed is because I'm giving you news things that you don't know about. Well, if you start watching these things, you, you will be amazed at the intake of news, what's happening in science, like what's happening in the sciences. Um, all these sorts of things, uh, and you'll hear about where the country, you know, was. You hear about unemployment stats, right? Like that they're at a 50-year low across the board for women and for for blacks and for Hispanics and just all across the board, right? Uh, record unemployment rate. You hear that jobs are up 5.5 million jobs have been added in two years, right? So you hear little stats like that, and some of those get through to conservative media, but not that much. Like really, really... They're barely mentioned. Even the GOP doesn't mention them. I highly recommend that you just what because that's just little stats. You're not getting what's happening in the rest of the departments and they're affecting your lives. And then you can make an effective decision about whether or not you want to vote for the president in 2020, because this is what he's put together. These are the changes that are happening. And I heard a conversation once between these two people and they were like, um, it you know what, I'll let you guys decide for yourself. But I think that uh, I think that it matters more about what's happening to your lives. Like, what are the policies? What are the laws being written? How are the law books changing? And I think that's really, really important. How are the law books being changed for you to make decisions about, um, you know, what cabinet members you want in, what cabinet members you want supported and really important decisions about whether or not you want to vote for an outsider when it comes to the 2019 elections, whether or not you want to run. It'll give you ideas about, you know, could you do this? Are these things that you want or are these things that you would do differently? Should I run for office as a mayor and things like this? Because um, all of these things that are happening, they're not being reported because the establishment GOP and the the D Democrats and the progressives, none of them want these changes happening. You need to decide for yourself if you want these changes happening. So if you want my opinion on Trump and the news and all these sorts of things, I just encourage you to go watch the Golden State Times channel on uh, YouTube. And then through that, you'll find other channels that have like you can look on the White House and then start looking up actual briefings. You'll always find you'll notice with the mainstream media and even Fox does this. They will say a briefing happened, but they will give a summary of the briefing and they'll never, ever include a clip of it. They'll tell you commentary on it without letting you decide or see it or even back it up with proof. Oh, they said this, but they don't provide the video of it. So it turns out when you watch the video of it, they didn't actually say it. It's so much better to go to the source, go to the source, go to the source, go to pure sources, to the original source, right? So and find out if you know, why, if you hate Trump, find out why you hate Trump. Go in and watch all of these, you know, daily daily signings and things like that. Like, people don't even know that Trump actually signed things on the border wall on his first and second day in office. He signed executive orders to get the wall built. People don't know that all of the, the over the last two years, one of the things they've had done is, like, the lawyers have gone through and the Department of Homeland Security, I can't remember what department it is, but they've actually bought all the land rights for the border wall, all for the entire border along the southern border. They've bought all the land rights. Now, you may hate that or you may love that. It's up to you. But that's something that's been happening in the last two years that nobody knows. They've done all, they've bought all the property along that way. They've made deals and they've bought, some people were like, yeah, and some people were like, let's do a deal. Um, and so the government's already paid out, you know, and people don't even know how that money, people don't know that money was dished out. And uh, that bill, I, I, there, you know, 16 billion has been given to from the Pentagon 
for the wall. People don't know about that. Like none of that's being reported. But these briefings will tell you that. But that's on hot button issues. What about all the other issues about health and wellness and education and things like that? What are those things happening um, in every area of your life? Transportation, infrastructure. Well, what about the briefings on those? And uh, if you're interested in immigration, what about the briefings on those? These are highly important things that are affecting your life that are directly a result of the cabinet appointments and the department appointment, the department, of the DOJ. Why is the DOJ suddenly getting all of these rings and these pedophile rings? Why are all these stars in like Nexium? Why are all of those suddenly going down? Like, you know, why is there a slew of, of all these uh, sex trafficking rings? And why are these sex trafficking sites suddenly being set down when prostitution is supposedly illegal in our country? Um, and so these are things to be, you know, people used to have to go to Thailand for the kind of services that are now available in our country. So they, these are these are things to be aware of. Things, these are things to, uh, you know, decide for yourself wherever you stand on the spectrum and see if you agree with them. But if you want news and news about Trump, go see what they're doing in the law and on the ground and get the information from there in those briefings, not in the press Q and A's or whatever, those aren't helpful. But like there is one department where they just did a year review of what we've done in a year. And I was just like, what in the, I didn't know any of this. Like it was shocking what they've done a year. They set goals. They had all these 10 goals and you can decide to disagree with those goals or not, but they had all these goals and they're moving. They're moved the entire thing all the departments are moving at incredibly rapid pace and the country is feeling them but they're so inundated with this what uh victor davis hansen calls an octopus you know that an octopus of like the nba and and the um the the universities and the mainstream media and uh twitter and facebook and there's this circle around us that distracts us from our lives on the ground, even though like our businesses are being affected and things. As I go back into the business world, I'm like, what are all these new things that you have to do? Like, what is all this? And I, I remember when I owned a business, like there were none of that existed. And it's 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 like, oh, I can feel the bird, the difference of the burden because I wasn't owning a business during the last, you know, Obama years. And I'm seeing what they mean by regulations and red tape and stuff like that. And I'm realizing, oh, this is supposed to be easier. Like, this is easier, but I don't live in a state. You know, I live in a state where people aren't voting. That's the thing is that this is only federal. So what's going on in your state? It makes you look at those sorts of things and and pay attention to what you're voting for. So anyway, um, watch China Uncensored to get some real news. Uh, you get a lot of news about America and the rest of the world. And watch these uh, department summaries, these year-end briefings and stuff like that, because these cabinet members were appointed really late. You're hearing about Burr now because he was only just appointed. Like, they didn't, you know what I mean? Like, he only just got in or whatever. And um, uh, it's just this whole twisted thing. So, um of of how to get real news and what's clearly going on and no one's laying that out for us you know you have to figure it out by piecing out and that's not so easy so hopefully that will help you out i really hope it does and i hope you're doing well and please keep moving please don't ever stop moving please don't do that because trust me physical therapy on the way back is a pain in the butt try dancing Try ballroom dancing, try swing dancing, try Balboa. There's a lot of kids out there doing swing dancing now. Um, they're having a lot of fun at it and stuff. I'm starting to watch videos again of dancing, and I'm just like, there are some really cool things out there. And um, and uh, it's a really great exchange for PT. Like, you, it can do a lot for your PT. Like, I'm starting to get stunned. No PT I did got stomach muscles back. But doing a little, you know, the just a little bit of dancing and, and getting increasing it by a dance a night, I can actually tuck in my tummy muscles for the first time in I three years. I can actually feel no five years. I can feel my stomach muscles and be able to tuck them in. And and I couldn't find anything restorative yoga, nothing. I was trying all these things, even like these Pilates things. I couldn't feel it. So and that got me well enough to finally get into a pelvic clinic for PT. I just wasn't strong enough. They won't take you unless you have a certain amount of mobility. So dancing can be a really big, you know, I'm realizing how lucky I I was looking at these things of like, why? Anyway, this has nothing to do with news. All right. I love you guys so much. That shows you how tired I am. I really need a rest. Mwah, I love you so much. And um, wherever you are on the spectrum, I hope this was helpful. And I hope you share it with people so that they can get some information 
um, in their lives because I know people are dying for it. They love to be informed. You know, it gives them some control in their lives. Let's get some control back in your life. And we always talk about women's empowerment and, you know, empowerment, empowerment, be a strong person. But you can't do that without knowledge. You just can't do that without knowledge instead of like propaganda and and narratives and stories and, and perspectives when someone gives you a perspective. We need facts and data and truth and what's happening on the ground. And uh, hopefully this will give you some of that so that then you can be empowered and make informed decisions as to what you like and what you don't like. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, that's how about the found out the the digital after music, the music, the digital music act or whatever and stuff like that. And all the musicians were at the White House and signed this thing and they were so excited about it. You know, all chubby check, all these people were you know, at the White House. And it was huge celebrities were at the White House and I didn't know about it. That's how I found out about it, through things like Golden State Times and these these briefings at these departments. So I hope that helps you. So because, you know, the big companies, the globalists with the UN, like Microsoft and Google, they all got they all got their phones protected 20 years ago because they're in line with, you know, the global superpower. So, all right. I love you guys so much. Now the little people are getting, when you see a music video and it clicks down on the rights and you see all those names the rights are owned to, yeah, only a few names on that are actually getting the money now because of this new legislation. They are getting money, but there may be other le legislation you don't agree with. So I hope you guys are doing well and I love you so much and watch these videos and I will talk to you later. I'm going to go get all undone and just like oh, fall asleep. All right. Bye.